is up you two welcome back to my channel it's your boy d dyson x-men 97 episode 3 loving it loving it i totally forgot about mr sinister and how his evil presence come in he looks like a demon but um he's like an 18th century scientist that embodied a whole bunch of mutants uh genes and 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 became who he is and he can time travel he can slip in and out so he's kind of like a demon um and seeing how the Jean Grey was a clone from him and trying to get uh, Jean Grey's and Cyclops' baby because he believes that with, with her psychic ability and his ability to, for our like gamut rays through his eyes, um, it'll be a perfect baby. All you gotta be is invincible, no, nothing can stop it. So seeing his plot and I was like, I like I like the fact that we can be in a position where this X-Men already experienced time traveling. They know time traveling people. So you got Bishop, you have Forge at the end. Yeah. And I was like, I remember I'm, it's coming back to me very slowly. I'm like all these villains, all the, the story, all of it. I don't I, I remember Cyclops being he's that that leader, but he's very brash uh emotional um and especially when it comes to his kid I, and and i felt for him it's like do you guys know what it feels like to be abandoned and he's like i won't do that and that's why i was like i, I really respect that because i'm like that's who cyclops always was um logan didn't really have much much to do but logan was always there for jane gray like that's his true love and he was always like look 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 closer i you know i really do have love for you i love you and um but she's with cyclops so that's why i was like um seeing morph mess with gambit over rogue and magneto and i'm just kind of like yeah so i'm really thinking we're watching this to see the introduction of deadpool and wolverine as this x-men is going to jump into live action um i really believe that or we go into actually their you time traveling you actually go into their deadpool and wolverine go into theirs and be like we're in this one, you know, so I think that that's a build up towards uh, Deadpool and Wolverine for sure. Um, and we may get a little glimpse, but I feel like we pull the X-Men and I think that's going to be the introduction really of the X-Men in live action where you got Henry. Um, dang it. Tip of my tongue. Um, Henry Cavill as Wolverine. It may be this Wolverine or we may get Daniel Radcliffe as this Wolverine. So it's like. I think whoever plays this X-Men 97 Wolverine is going to be the Wolverine to to stay. And I, and I think that's going to be Ed, Edgerton, uh, oh boy, from uh, Dry Baby or something like that. So I was just like, I tell myself, I'm like, and he also played in Blackbird. So um, I tell myself, yeah, this is, this is nothing short of just true, true animation. I miss it, the, the soap opera feel of animation that they had that's what the X-Men was. They were very complicated. Um, and all the issues that they go through is, you know, with space, you got, I loved how they talked about, yeah, I was already Phoenix. You went through that aspect, telekinesis, spiritual, spiritual, like you go through all of it, cosmic street level, all, every realm goes through the X-Men because they had to fight all of it because they're mutants. So I'm here for it. I give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. Damn near just a 10, a 10 out of 10. Might as well make it that way. So, you guys enjoyed my review of X-Men 97 Episode 3. Subscribe to my channel. Post a comment down below and like the video. It's your boy, D. Dyson. Peace.